Good morning. I came to talk to you about, um, actually, I think I just about forgot what I came to talk to you about. It's early. It's uh, Saturday morning, early before appointments start. And um, good morning. Welcome, Koi Beginner. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about bioseeding. It's a very important procedure, uh, especially for uh, beginners, because a lot of times beginners don't have uh, established facilities for their fish and let me explain what that means there's a thing in the fish keeping called the cycle and it's I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because it's explained at koivet.com and dr johnson dr johnson.com but the cycle is the way by which fish waste products like urine and and uh, fish poop get broken down into harmless compounds by bacteria and uh, logically you would say well you know how long does that process take where do these bacteria come from do I need to buy them etc and you can buy those bacteria um, most of those products work somewhat but they don't all work great and um, without those bacteria then fish waste build up and it becomes toxic to the fish and it can kill them in fact 70 percent of fish mortalities are related to uh, a fail in water quality, high ammonias, uh, high nitrites, crazy high nitrates, pH crash, etc. Don't worry about those right now. What I came to talk to you about was bioseeding, which is the ability or a miracle of being able to get those beneficial bacteria, put them into a system, and have it functioning immediately, bypassing that six week cycle. At one time, I would have thought that was impossible based on what we know about heterotrophic bacteria, but it's very possible. Um, Basically, bioseeding is the process of setting up your facility, whether that's a small pond, large pond, whatever. It gets tougher in really large ponds, but smaller ponds up to 1,200 to 2,000 gallons can be done with bioseeding. And what you do is you get the pond running, totally dechlorinate it, because bioseeding new bacteria into the pond with chlorine obviously kills the bacteria, and turn off any UV systems that you may be running. Bioseeding is going to uh, an established pond, and you may have a friend who has one. You might already have some sort of water feature already to, to take uh, seed from. Uh, you may end up having to go to a retailer. Um, it would be smart if the uh, bioseed uh, bacteria could come out of a fishless pond because bioseeding bacteria may come with other parasites. And it may not. And sometimes it's better than nothing, but let me tell you about one other thing. Uh, later um, about bioseeding into an empty pond. What you do basically is you get the squeezins from their filter or your filter. Um, uh, you basically would go to them and you'd say, can I have some squeezins from a filter mat? You mean all that green goo that's in a filter mat? And you go, yeah, I want the mojo from a filter mat or a, a bead filter. What I used to do with my Aquadines is I used to run my uh, filter backwards and blow out the first dark green material and I would put that in my pond as a bio seed. It worked great. Uh, in under gravel filtration systems you can um, siphon the gravel and that mojo that comes up is good for cycling a system. Basically you're looking for the green or brown mojo from an established pond. Simply stir that up before you put it in and distribute it around the edge of the pond just like you would some sort of medicine. Make sure your filter is running. Your filter will quickly pick up that beneficial bacteria burst. You want to put a lot in there, as much as you can, so the water's cloudy with it if you possibly can. There's an illustrated article of this on koivet.com. shows pictures of how cloudy it's supposed to be, how to get the junk and all that. But basically, you cloud the pond up with the um, donor um, bacteria from that system and uh, let your filter pick it up and then your filter becomes seeded with beneficial bacteria and you bypass the cycle. Pretty handy. Uh, that's nice because then you don't have to wait six weeks for um, ammonia and water quality to be um, stabilized. One thing about that though is you can get parasites from the mojo that you get from somebody else if you don't know them. The thing about that is if you don't have any fish in the bio seeded pond there's no fish to get the disease and if you wait seven to ten days at normal you know, weather temperatures in spring and summer, there won't be any parasites because they can't live without a host. So that's handy. Um, the second thing is, is that when that bio seeded system gets rolling, your system gets uh, running real good. Um, within a week or so, you're going to see the pH start to sag and maybe even crash. So it's very important if you bio seed 
that you keep the pH supported with carbonate alkalinity. That is also described on KoiVet.com. I'm not going to go into it here. So the basic points are, if you want to skip the cycle and have a system that is stabilized as far as water quality with beneficial bacteria right away, pollute your pond with the filter running with the green brown mojo from an established pond. Cloud the pond up, let your filter pick up that material, and then your filter will be cycled. Make sure afterwards that you are observant for pH crash and that it, whenever possible you treat that mojo as if it had diseases in it so you might not want to populate your tank or your pond right until 7 to 14 days after bio seeding. In the meantime um, thank you from Koi Beginner. Um, YouTube has ha been cutting off the ends of my videos and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, basically let you listen to some music for about a minute. Um, they'll truncate that, you won't even see it, but that's what the music is for uh, at the conclusion of this video. So um, keep an eye on Koi Beginner. You can subscribe to Koi Vet and Koi Beginner. There's a mailing list subscription on there. You can subscribe to these YouTube videos. Although I can't promise you all these YouTube videos are going to be about fish. So if you want to see videos just about fish, go to Koi Beginner. And if you want to see videos about other stuff that I make, my boring face right here on the screen, um, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I sure appreciate your time, and I will see you later.